Daytel released a lot of unlicensed utilities and games for the GameCube and Wii. Today, we're going to be focusing on four of those titles. A utility called the Max Drive Pro, a collection of games called the Max Play, a Game Boy Advance emulator called the Advance Game Port, and a cheat system called the Action Replay. These titles are all extremely difficult to run in Dolphin for several reasons. Of these four titles, the Max Drive Pro and Advanced Game Port come with hardware that attaches to the GameCube through the memory card slots. These discs are notoriously hard to dump. Conventional dumpers like CleanRip will quickly fail. Without Credier's help and his custom dumpers he coded for each disc, I wouldn't have been able to dump the discs at all. To make things even more difficult, these games will not boot without a GameCube BIOS, so you'll have to rip that from a console. Are any of these titles actually worth the trouble? Let's take a look at each one and find out. First up is the Max Drive Pro. It's a memory card backup utility with a bonus that it could actually boot homebrew off the memory cards. Unfortunately for us, Dolphin does not currently emulate the Max Drive Pro memory card, so we can't try any of its special functions. While technically we should be able to boot Homebrew off of a regular memory card, the program that Daytel included to convert dolls into GCI executables does not work on modern versions of Windows. Without their program or emulating their special memory card, this is about all we can do. So let's move on to the next disc. The Max Play is by far the least interesting of these discs. There's no extra hardware, and all it is is a GBA emulator with a bunch of Homebrew included with it. While these may have been impressive GBA homebrew at one point, as a title on the GameCube it comes off as almost laughable. The 10 games on a disc have about a minute of replay value total, so we can't recommend going through the trouble of ripping this disc just to play the games. The Advanced Game Port is actually another GBA emulator, except this one uses a hardware add-on to load actual GBA carts onto the GameCube. Dolphin does support the AGP add-on courtesy of a patch by Grey Rogue. The main problem with the AGP on console is that it runs somewhere around 15 and 20 FPS at max. By overriding the emulated CPU clock, we can make it run at a flat 20, but it refuses to run at any higher. It seems like the frame skip is built in. In the end, Dolphin is mainly limited by the fact that this isn't a very good GBA emulator. While this device is extremely neat, if you absolutely want to run GBA games in Dolphin, there's plenty of Wii Homebrew that works a thousand times better right now. Considering that we have Action Replay support in Dolphin, it may seem like a waste of time to dump the Action Replay disc, right? Let's compare Dolphin's built-in cheat support for the actual disc and see what happens. Right now, I'm using Dolphin's built-in Action Replay support to launch the cheat Hold R to Mega Jump. When I hold R, I should shoot up into the air like a rocket, right? Well, with Dolphin's support, that doesn't happen. Link just crouches on the ground and sits there. By using the Deku Leaf, we can get a much better look at what's going on. Holding R is actually propelling us up, it's just propelling us up very little. So, as you can see, this isn't enough to pull Link off the ground when he's just standing there. Now that we've seen how Dolphin's built-in support acts, let's try booting up the Action Replay disc and enabling the cheat there. Do note, in order to get this disc to boot up in Dolphin, you have to change the region code from X to E or else it'll come up as an invalid disc. This disc is packed with a lot of cheats that you've probably seen in Dolphin's game INIs. But additionally, it has a freeloader function so you can load any game of any region on your console. Now all we have to do is switch to the Wind Waker disc and it will automatically boot up on its own. And now we'll get to see if the Action Replay disc fares better than our emulated Action Replay support. This time when we hold R, the reaction is quite a bit different. Link flies way up into the air even in a few seconds. After all the time I spent to get the disc working, this payoff is well worth it. If anyone else wants to try it themselves, there are clean rip versions that work with some action replay discs, but if it doesn't, you'll have to ask around and see if anyone has a custom dumper for your particular action replay. 
Until next time, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I hope they enjoyed the video.